In this video, I will show you how to track Webflow form submissions with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4. Here I have a demo website and on this page there is a form. Below this video you will find a link to a form listener. Click that link and then copy this code. Then go to Google Tag Manager. By the way, in this tutorial I assume that you have already installed Google Tag Manager on a Webflow website. If not, then take a look at the description of this video where I will share a tutorial on how to do that. So in Google Tag Manager, go to Tags, New, Tag Configuration, and then Custom HTML. Here, paste the code and then set it to Fire on all pages, for example. But ideally, you should maybe create another trigger that will fire only if page path contains contact. That way, this custom code will be activated only on the contact page where the form is present instead of all pages. But just to keep this video a bit shorter, I will fire this on all pages. Then let's name this tag. CHTML stands for custom HTML. And we can name this Webflow Form Listener and then click Save. Now let's test if this is working. I will click Preview. This will open a new tab and here I have to enter the URL where the form is present. I have already done that, so let's click Connect. Now let's submit the form. Enter some information and click Submit. I see the success message and if I go to the preview mode, I see the form submission event. And if I expand it, I see the ID of the form and then what kind of information was filled in in each field. In this tutorial, I will not be using these. I will just send the form submission event and the form ID. The reason why I see the form submit event here is because my Google Tag Manager container also has the form submission trigger which is just the default trigger, which does not do a lot. Anyway, in this tutorial, we don't care about that, so we can ignore this form submit. We care about form submission. Since I mainly work with Google Analytics 4, I will show you how to send this form submission data to GA4. Let's go to Google Tag Manager, and in the triggers, click New. We will create a trigger that will be activated when form underscore submission happens in the data layer. So here in the trigger configuration, I will click anywhere and select custom event. Here I have to enter exactly what is in the event parameter right here without quotation marks. So like this, and then let's name the trigger and click save. Together with the form submission event, I also want to send the ID of the form, which is email form. To do that, we will need to create a data layer variable for form ID. Let's go to Google Tag Manager variables, then in the user defined variables, click new, variable configuration, data layer variable, and then enter exactly what we have here, form underscore ID. Then let's name the variable like this and click save. Finally, let's send this event to Google Analytics 4. In this tutorial, I assume that you already have at least very basic knowledge about Google Analytics 4 and that you already have GA4 installed in Google Tag Manager container. In my case, I just have the Google tag with the following tag ID, also known as measurement ID. If you have no idea what this is, then I will post a link to another tutorial below this video on how to install Google Analytics on Webflow. So in this video that you're currently watching, I will create a new Google Analytics 4 event tag and that tag will be using this ID. So I can copy it and then in the tags, I click new, tag configuration, Google Analytics, GA4 event. Here I paste the measurement ID. Then I will need to enter the event name. It can be any name you want. For example, it can be generate lead, which is a recommended event name, or it can be form submission, for example. Then in event parameters, we want to send a form ID. So we will just enter, let's say form ID like this and its value will be the variable that we recently created. It means that when this form submission happens on the website, Google Tag Manager will take this form ID and its value will be sent to Google Analytics. So we need to click this button and then insert our data layer variable. Then in the triggering, we can click anywhere and select our custom trigger. Finally, let's name this tag. 
and click Save. Let's test if this is working. I will click Preview to refresh the preview mode. And then I will submit the form again. Click Submit, form was submitted. Then here in the preview mode, I will click Form Submission and I see that my event fired. I mean the tag fired. Now let's test if this event was properly received by Google Analytics. I can do that by going to Analytics, then Admin, and then selecting Debug View. And here I see that form submission event. If I click it, I also see the form ID, which is correct. Since everything is working fine, the last step for you would be to submit these changes so that this listener and the tag would go live for your website visitors. You can do that by clicking the Submit button and then completing all the other steps that you are asked to do. And that's how you can track Webflow forms with Google Tag Manager and GA4. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager and GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.